All right, tenth class. We are going to start the topic of tables in HTML. Okay. Already we have covered, but I'll be starting from the very root level, right? So, what is table in general sense? Table means arrangement of data in rows and columns. Horizontal are the rows, and vertical are the columns. And uh, the area where row and column they strike together, that is called cell. That is called a cell. Okay, clear? So in HTML, if you want to start a table, you will use the table tag. Table opening and table closing marks the starting and ending of the table in HTML. Table opening tag, table closing tag marks the beginning and ending of the table. Am I clear? Now. A question arises, what are the basic tags that comprise the structure of a table? Please listen the question carefully, all of you. This question will create confusion in your mind. What are the basic tags that makes up the structure of the table? I am not asking the basic tags of HTML. I am asking the basic tags which will make up the structure of the table. They are TR, TD, TH, Caption. These are the four basic tags that makes up the structure of the table. Am I clear to all? 10th class. Now, what is the role of TR tag? TR tag stands for table row. It is used to create row inside the table. TD. TD stands for table data. It is used to create data cells into the table. And TD tag is also known as workhorse of the table. This tag is known as workhorse of the table. Got it? Then if you want to create the header row, you want to specify the field headings or the column headings, uh, we uh, prefer to use th tag. Th tag stands for table header and it is used to create header row or header column. Lakshimago, what you are eating? Please go out. So TH stands for table header. Next is caption tag. Now what is the role of caption tag? If you want to specify any descriptive title to your table, you want to give a title to your table, a short descriptive title, then we will be using the caption tag. <coughs> And remember one thing, caption tag will always be used after the table tag. Am I clear? So let us start the coding of table. I'll be starting with a very simple table. Then I'll be proceeding to all the further attributes. Okay. Opening table tag. And the first and the most important attribute of table tag is border. I am taking border four. The thickness, the size of border is four. In your web page instructions, this line will be written size of the border is three. वो साइज वर्ड सिर्फ आपको कंफ्यूज करने के लिए है आप लोगों ने ये नहीं लिख देना वहां पे डोंट राइट दिस एट्रीब्यूट बॉर्डर ही रहेगा डोंट राइट दी बॉर्डर साइज ओके साइज वर्ड इज जस्ट टू हाईलाइट दैट द थिकनेस ऑफ द बॉर्डर इज फोर और थ्री बट एक्चुअली द एट्रीब्यूट विल रिमेन बॉर्डर सो आई एम टेकिंग बॉर्डर ऑफ साइज फोर राइट 
then second attribute which is particularly exclusively available in table tag only that is border color it is one single word without any underscore without any space i am taking the border color red i am taking the border color as red okay am i clear then i am uh, closing the angle bracket i am taking two attributes right now total there are 14 attributes of table tag i am working with two right now got it aap sat sat type karo please parallel type karo mere now give a little indentation thoda andar ki aur jaiye tab ki daba ke press the tab key and uh, give uh, five spaces indentation all right starting with the first row tr by default the data of the table will be centrally aligned oh sorry left aligned by default the data will be left aligned if you want to bring your data in the center you have two options either you specify align equal to center in the tr or individually in all the data cells you provide align equal to center the second method is preferred only and only when alignment of all the cells are to be different सपोज आपको पहले सेल को लेफ्ट करना है सेकेंड सेल को सेंटर में करना है थर्ड को राइट में करना है तो सेकेंड मेथड को ऑप्ट करो जैसे पहले के अलाइन को लेफ्ट कर दिया सेकेंड में सेंटर एंड थर्ड यू डेट इज राइट बट वेन यू हैव दिस स्ट्रक्चर दैट द एंटायर टेबल इज इन द सेंटर एंटायर डाटा इज इन द सेंटर देन फर्स्ट मेथड इज ऑलवेज प्रेफर्ड अप्लाई अलाइन एट्रीब्यूट इन साइड द टी आर टैक when you are applying the align attribute inside the tr it will bring entire data of all the cells in the center then no need to take separate align attribute in the td cell you got my point in the d class so i am taking first cell td right my first entry in the cell is 1 td close second td rahul td close third td 90 td close again fourth cell i am creating grade a1 close the td here i am closing my first row so my first row is having four cells online class am i clear up till here divyansh bisam jasnoor any queries any doubts up till here all right now all of you for just few seconds stop your typing and listen to the most important point because this mistake will take place in the coming exams i know you will create this blunder i know जब टेबल की कोडिंग शुरू होती है ना इट गोस रो वाइज इट डजेंट स्टार्ट कॉलम वाइज बट मेनी ऑफ यू इन अर्लियर असाइनमेंट विच आई सेंड यू यू स्टार्टेड द कोडिंग कॉलम वाइज हमेशा ध्यान रखना कोडिंग ऑरिजोंटल चलेगी पहले रो पहली रो में जितने सेल हैं वो कवर करके देन यू विल कम टू द सेकेंड रो right now uh, assume that you are in a table form okay if i am to take viva i'll be taking viva of these three cells first i won't be going column wise means after riyan i'll be proceeding to laksh 
I won't be proceeding to Chahal. मैं रो वाइज चल रहा हूं पहले ये रो खत्म होगी देन आई विल कम टू दिस रो वेर ताने एंड चाहत आर सिटिंग ऐसा नहीं होगा कि पहले रेहान का वायवा हो गया फिर चाहत का फिर उस बच्चे का ये कॉलम वाइज हो गया ना रो वाइज की बात करो हमेशा ध्यान रखना टेबल की कोडिंग रो वाइज चलती है ये अभी पहली रो खत्म हुई है पहली रो में चार सेल्स है नाउ आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द सेकेंड रो so i copy paste it i am making the changes here okay then again i copy paste i make changes over here right then again i copy paste and i make changes right so total i am having four rows four rows four columns so total cells will be 16 four rows four columns so my total cells in the table will be rows multiplied by columns 4 into 4 16 got it so this was my last row now i am going to close the table tag and table tag is a container tag having both opening as well as closing so here i close my table tag here i close the body tag and finally i close the html tag am i clear to all save the coding i am giving table 10th d dot html table 1 table 1 10th d dot html by this name i am saving the coding of the table okay let us check the browser view so this is my browser view i just increase the zoom level check it out please all of you check it out online class is the browser view visible to everyone jasnoor sayam divyansh offline class please see the lcd first yes daksh टेबल में हाँ हो जाएगी टेबल के टी आर टी डी के अंदर आपको इनपुट टैग लेना पड़ेगा बहुत कुछ हो जाएगा एनी डाउट इन द स्टार्टिंग कोडिंग ऑफ द टेबल हाउ मेनी हैव क्रिएटेड इट एक बार बना के कॉपी पेस्ट कर लो ना चेंजेस ही करने शेल आई प्रोसीड फर्दर ऑल राइट नाउ एवरीबडी क्लिक ऑन दैट टेबल टैग दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड कम टू द टेबल टैग टेबल बॉर्डर इक्वल टू फोर बॉर्डर कलर इक्वल टू रेड ओके नेक्स्ट टू एट्रीब्यूट are height and width i am giving height 100 i am giving width also 100 height and width same are the attributes in the image tag okay 
I'm increasing the height and width. See, height I have increased, width I have increased. You can specify more value if you want as per your convenience. Am I clear to all? Yes, class. All right. Now again, come to table tab. I'm proceeding with the next attribute and pay attention very carefully for this attribute. Align. When I say align equal to center with respect to table tab, it will bring the entire table in the center of the web page. It will put no effect on the data of the table. Suppose your data is by default left aligned and you are applying align equal to center inside the table tag. Don't think that data of the table will be centrally aligned. It will only bring the table in the center. It has nothing to do with data. Okay. Check it out. Check the browser view, all of you. The table has come in the center. Yes, Vivan. Am I clear? Any doubt, any queries? Online class, any questions, any queries up till here? All right. Uh, now, Press enter key after the table command. I mean, before the first row. Let us create the header row. Now, when you are to create the header row, two points must be taken into consideration. Header row is by default automatically centrally aligned and by default it is bold so no need to apply align center in that row which is defined as header row because header row will be automatically centrally aligned yes if you want to set alignment right that then you have to use the align attribute for the header row. Second most important point to be taken into consideration is that when you are creating the header row, you are to take th tag, not td tag. Okay. So all of you please see the LCD first. Tr. First th roll number. Close th, then th names, th closes, marks, th closes, and grade. Close th, and finally close the tr. So this is your header row 
Am I clear? Tenth B. Offline class. Check it out, beta. All of you, check it out. Online class, any doubt up till here? <coughs> yes, students, any doubt? Ardik, Akshit, Prikshit, any doubt? Prikshit, Hardik, and Akshit. I have announced your name, but didn't receive any feedback from your side. Ranbir, Parth, Rhythm. All right. Now, next work. All of you, please click inside the table tab before the border attribute. All of you, click inside the table tab before the border attribute. Okay. I am using BG color attribute as yellow now this bg color attribute will specify the color to be displayed in the background of the table not on the web page one bg color you provide in the body tag see here this is the background color of the entire page this background color will provide the color in the background of the table. Check it out. Online class browser view is visible to everyone. Lakshima, could you please keep quiet? Clear and Lux, Rian, Tanya, Chahat, all, all the girls at the back, Princey and uh, Srishti. Vishal, Chetana, PC Chetana, Bachchi. All right. Now, suppose you want to specify color to the header row. The entire background color of table is yellow, but you want to highlight your header row with some other color. So in the TR tag of header row, specify the BG color attribute. In, uh, inside the opening TR of header row, Specify the BG color attribute and uh, mention the color green or whatever color you want, right? Check it out. All of you check the LCD. You know recording is on. Don't speak like this in between. Just raise your hand. So I have used BG color attribute three times. First, inside the body tag to specify the background color of the entire web page. 
then i used inside the table tab to specify the background color of the table and then i have used inside the tr tag of header row to specify the background color in the header row okay got it three times same attribute but working is different all right if i want that second row of the table should appear in blue color what i have to do yes tanya tr attribute of second row i'll be giving bg color equal to blue okay check it out please so similarly you can specify color for each and every row if you want okay check it out beta each row i have displayed using different color online class is lecture clear jasnur sayam mannat hardik akshit gitanshu lecture is clear to all of you all right 